you are still watching ways Today is the National Day of Fraternity and Cohesion and takes place annually on February 22nd in the Republic of Algeria. It marks the anniversary of the protest that united the country against an unjust leader and his party's attempt at another selfish power grab. On February 22nd, 2019, the entire country rose in unison to hold nationwide, nationwide protests. I think this is, this, is, this is just right on point. <laughs> <laughs> because this is, I don't want to say this is where we are at right now, but I mean, it's quite a timely holiday because I think what in, at that point in our lives now, or as a country, it's time for us to take back <laughs> what, take back what belongs to us, to us yes, like our yes. country, rights, everything. Yeah. Right. Jenny, you're not saying anything. <laughs> <You're just> like, <laughs> because when you mention protests, it mm -hmm. just takes me back. back. Yeah, it just takes me back. And I'm really hoping that we don't get to that point. Because I feel like they're trying to instill fear in people this coming election. Mm -hmm. And like you said, this came at the right time. But I'm really hoping that we don't get to that point where we have to do like a second protest all over again. Because we lost lives the last time. Yes. So I really don't want to lose anybody. Whether I know you or not, I'm, you don't deserve that. Mm -hmm. Right. I really hope that we don't get to that point, actually. Okay, Isi, what did you find for us in the news today? All right, in my news, what actually caught my attention was, you know, we are actually in the season of election and we have a lot of, you know, tension in the air. People are already walked up and this everybody's uh, mood is actually on the high right now. So any little thing can actually trigger anybody to violence or they can be actually used to, you know, cause some sort of mayhem in the society currently. So what actually caught my attention was you, the Duchess, uh, sentence when he said that why should, why you shouldn't engage in violence for any candidate. That caught my attention because we have had this happen time and time again over the years when we have election and the political class or politicians actually use the youth to actually cause some sort of mayhem to do their dirty work. Here, Yuladoche said that we have to use our senses to actually give the politicians the words that they really deserve. And his response was that whenever a politician actually um, um, reaches out to any individual or any anyone to actually cause some sort of mayhem, that they should actually say the word to the candidate, any candidate who wants to engage you to cause uh, mayhem on election day, tell them to bring their children or his children to need the sport. I'm actually using his words verbatim, basically. And in this context, I totally agree with him when he said this, because we've had issues of you know, the cause of, uh, they say that when we have people doing things like this, they tend to hide the children away and put the uh, masses children in the forefront. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I totally agree with Yula Doche. Whoever wants to cause some sort of mayhem, they should bring their children to the uh, forefront and let them lose their lives and let them see what other parents actually go through. The youth should be more sensible this time. Yeah, thank you so much. I think this is why we've been having these conversations this week. Yesterday yeah. we talked about voter sensitization and mm -hmm. things that you should actually do at the polling unit. And then today we're also discussing safety at the polling unit. Yeah. Well. So, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Jenny, what did you find um, for us in the news today? So for me, um, JAM closes 2023 UTME registration. This took me back. <laughs> but yeah, so um, the JAM registration was between January 14th to um, February 14th. But due to the recent developments in the country they had to give it like um like a one week extension so mm. more people could register and right now they said they had about 1.6 million people who registered for jump that's a lot how of many numbers. people actually get admission i was going to say that i don't well. know Is it i don't know i think it is two hundred thousand. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I know i know sometimes you know there are people who actually pass 
jam. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if universities should still do push UTME, mm -hmm. like their own school exams, because yeah. you also have to pass that hurdle. Mm -hmm. So that would now determine if you're even you going get to get into it. Right. And then you know it's broken down to university, there's college of education, mm -hmm. and then all of that. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think a wide range of people actually go to school. Like it just took me back. So when I saw this in the news, I'm like, oh, I yeah. remember when I had to say school. Dumb, I'm like, oh, like true. True. Such a long time ago. <laughs> like, uh, praying, quite studying. nostalgic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sanzi, what did you find for us in news? All right, so um, elections are just around the corner, and movement of actualization of sovereign state of Biafra, that's Masob, have come out to warn all Easterners, whether you're supporting Biafra or not supporting Biafra, they're saying, listen, come out and vote. Mm. Now, I traveled home, I traveled to the East during Christmas, mm. and there's just this popular saying around, um, at least within my village, the people I interacted with, that there's no need to vote because Biafra is different from Nigeria. And <laughs> I was thinking, like, what are, you, what are you guys saying? You know, but I'm glad that at least an authority they respect to a certain extent has come out to tell them, listen, it is important that you guys will, because this is what they said, do not allow anyone deceive you in the name of Biafra because we know the real Biafra agitators and those paid to create confusion in the land. Also, mm -hmm. those saying there shall be no election in Biafra land are enemies of Ndibu. If you don't vote, others will. Mm -hmm. And enemies of Ndibu will impose their puppet mm -hmm. on our people, mm -hmm. just like what happened in Imo State. They know what they're referring to in Imo State, yeah. but I think they made a very important announcement, like there is no sit at home, go out and vote. It's your right. Of course. Nobody of has course. the right to tell you to sit at yeah. home on a whole election day. Yeah. That's wrong. That's why you I've know? been shouting this thing. Voting is actually your civic responsibility. Yes. You should actually exercise it as a citizen of any country that you mm -hmm. belong to. Jenny, we're going to say something. No, 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 I'm good. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and then for my own news, we've been talking about how much INEC is prepared for this election. But then today I found in the news that um, they started to distribute sensitive election materials in Lagos State and also in... Um, Cross River mm -hmm. and in Calabar, in um, Cross River as well, mm -hmm. as well as um, Delta State. And I was happy to see this that they're not actually waiting till a day before before they right. so that we don't now start hearing stories of yeah. oh they couldn't get this um, the beavers to yeah. the different polling units On and time. all of that. So mm -hmm. I, I'm hoping that this is actually ample time. If they started doing this today, they have between today and at least Friday night to prepare and to actually distribute these um, election mm -hmm. materials. Jenny, <laughs> what? <laughs> so when I saw this news, mm. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, cool. But at the same time, I mean, being a Nigerian and living in Nigeria, I already have trust issues. Mm. Do you understand? I'm just hoping that even with this distribution, that they are safe yeah. and that no one is actually trying to tamper with yeah. it. And they probably give it to people who are trustworthy and people who actually have integrity. That's key. Yeah. Trustworthy people. Trustworthy people. Very important. And integrity. So please... If you've gotten it, we beg you, in the name of God, do the right thing. I know, right? <laughs> That's the next eight years of our lives right I'm there. I'm telling you, God very is, important. Like, God hmm. <laughs> I was thinking, so another eight years, I know how old I will be. And I really don't want to go through another series right? of... No, the no, 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 no. Already. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, like Jenny rightly said, if you're in charge of any of these materials, yeah. we beg you, please, take good control of them. Protect them as much as you can. Don't collect anything for something, please. All right, the conversation will continue after the break. See you after the break.